Hello, and welcome back to Cartography and Geography Club. Today, we're jet setting to the vibrant land of Haiti. And don't worry, we've got our maps and GPS ready, so no one's getting stranded like lost tourists on a deserted island sitcom. We'll dive into Haiti's rich history, its current geography, and territorial disputes shaping the nation's borders. So buckle up, adventurers, because this journey is going to be more exciting than trying to fold a map in a windy city. You can also build your own map along with us and submit it for this season's prize packs. See techassemble.tech for more information. Enough with the chit chat, let's dive in. Our journey unfolds amidst the mystique of ancient times, a tapestry woven with the vibrant cultures of indigenous civilizations like the Tano and the Arawak, flourishing in what we now know as Haiti. Before the cloak of European colonization draped over the land, Haiti was a mosaic of diverse people, each carving out their own realm across the landscape. But these weren't static domains confined by lines on a map. They were fluid, ever-changing boundaries shaped by ebb and flow of conflict, alliances, and migrations among the indigenous tribes. In this dynamic tableau, Borders were not etched in stone, but danced like shadows in the flickering firelight of history, reminding us of the intricate tapestry of human civilization. Amidst this rich cultural tapestry, the indigenous people of Haiti developed sophisticated agricultural techniques, cultivating crops like maize, cassava, and sweet potato. Their knowledge of the land was profound with farming methods adapted to the diverse terrain, from the fertile plains to the mountainous regions. This deep connection to the land not only sustained their communities, but also fostered a profound respect for nature and its cycles. Beyond agriculture, the indigenous civilizations of Haiti possessed intricate social structures and artistic traditions. They crafted elaborate pottery, adorned themselves with intricate jewelry, and express their spiritual beliefs through vibrant ceremonies and rituals. Their legacy lives on in the archeological sites scattered across Haiti, offering glimpses into their rich heritage and the depth of their ingenuity. The arrival of European colonizers, particularly the Spanish and later the French, added another layer of complexity to Haiti's border history. The territory known as Saint-Domingue had to navigate colonial pressures and indigenous resistance movements. During this period, Haiti's borders were not fixed as they are today. The French colonial administration expanded its territorial grad gradually, encountering various indigenous civilizations. The borders were constantly shifting due to conquests, treaties, and conflicts with other colonial powers like Spain and England. Haiti's territorial boundaries evolved significantly over time until it gained independence from France in the early 19th century. Under French rule, Haiti faced territorial challenges and internal struggles with, for independence. The Haitian Revolution was a significant armed conflict that lasted from 1791 to 1804, ultimately leading to Haiti's independence from French colonial rule. It was sparked by a slave revolt and led by Toussaint Louverture, Jean-Jacques Dessalines, and other revolutionary leaders. The revolution concluded with Haiti becoming the first independent nation in Latin America and the Caribbean, and the only nation in the world to evolve from a successful slave revolt. During the 19th and 20th centuries, Haiti faced significant challenges regarding its borders, including territorial disputes with the neighboring Dominican Republic. Despite these challenges, Haiti embarked on a path of nation building and efforts to strengthen its sovereignty. Haiti contends with various modern day border disputes, primarily concerning its maritime boundaries. One significant issue involves conflicting claims with neighboring countries such as the Dominican Republic and Jamaica over its ex exclusive economic zones, or EEZs. 
and the exploitation of marine resources like fisheries and oil. These disputes often stem from historical disagreements, ambiguous, amb ambiguous treaties, and differing interpretations of international maritime law. Additionally, Haiti shares a land border with the Dominican Republic. Experiencing occasional tensions over matters such as migration, trade, and resource management. Furthermore, the sovereignty of Navassa Island, located between Haiti and Jamaica, remains contested between Haiti and the United States, primarily due to conflicting historical claims and strategic interests in the island's potential mineral wealth. These border disputes highlight the complex geopolitical landscape in which Haiti navigates as it seeks to uphold its territorial integrity and manage its maritime resources, while fostering peaceful relations with its neighbors. Haiti staunchly asserts that the Navassa Island bears deep historical ties to its people. According to Haitian accounts, the island was discovered by Haitian fishermen and has been utilized by Haitian communities for fishing and various other activities throughout history. Furthermore, Haiti points to the Treaty of 1867, a pivotal agreement between the United States and Haiti, which explicitly recognizes Haiti's sovereignty over Navassa Island, firmly establishing it as a Haitian territory. Additionally, the grim legacy of labor and phosphate mining on Navassa Island during the late 19th century where Haitian laborers were forcibly brought to toil in guano mining operations serves as a poignant reminder of Haiti's historical connection to the island, further bolstering its claim. However, the United States presents a contrasting narrative. Citing the Guano Act of 1856, the U.S. contends that this legislation granted U.S. citizens the right to claim uninhabited islands boasting valuable guano deposits, including Navassa Island. American companies seized upon this opportunity claiming Navassa for its lucrative guano resources. Subsequently, the U.S. Navy occupied and administered the island under the Guano Islands Act asserting American sovereignty over Navassa. Moreover, Beyond historical assertions, the United States underscores its strategic interest in the Caribbean region, citing potential mineral wealth and the imperative for maintaining maritime control. Yet amidst these divergent historical narratives, the legal arguments lies a com complex geopolitical landscape. The clash of historical claims, legal agreements, and strategic imperatives has created a quagmire of tensions between the two nations. Both Haiti and the United States adamantly assert their rights over Navassa Island, perp perpetuating an enduring dispute and no clear res resolution in sight. All right, now let's buckle up for geography roller coaster. That is Haiti. Picture this, a Caribbean paradise with more ups and downs than a soap opera plot clocking in around 27,750 square kilometers, Haiti shares the island of Hispaniola with its neighboring Dominican Republic. But hey, sharing is caring, right? Now, let's talk terrain. Haiti's landscape is like a mixed bag of surprises. You've got mountains towering over the place like protective guardians, with the Mastiff du Nord hogging the spotlight up north and the Mastiff de Hot struggling its stuff, strutting its stuff down into the south. And right smack dab in the middle is the central plateau, holding everything together like the reliable friend who always brings snacks to the party. And let's not forget about the rivers, the real MVPs of Haiti's waterworks. The Abernite River is like the superstar of rivers, strutting its stuff through the country like it owns the place, keeping everyone hydrated and entertaining with its liquid antics. So in the grand scheme of Haiti's geography, these rivers are the unsung heroes flowing through the country like liquid gold and keeping the party going one splash at a time. On a more serious note, the destruction of nature in Haiti paints a sobering picture of environmental degradation and its far-reaching consequences. 
Over the years, Haiti has experienced significant deforestation with vast swaths of its once lush tropical forests decimated by unsustainable logging practices, charcoal production, and agriculture expansion. This rampant deforestation has led to soil erosion, loss of biodiversity, and heightened vulnerability to natural resource disasters such as landslides and floods. The effects are felt not only in the ecological realm, but also in the socio-economic fabric of Haitian society. With diminished livelihoods, food insecurity, and increased vulnerability to climate change impacts. Despite efforts to address these challenges, the road to ecological recovery and sustainability remains long and arduous, underscoring the urgent need for concerted action to protect and restore Haiti's precious natural heritage. It's clear that Haiti's borders and geography will continue to impact the Caribbean region. I can't wait to dive into other aspects of the country over the next month. Thank you for joining me today, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join our Patreon for bonus material on all our subjects. Have a great week, and don't forget to never stop learning.